A few months ago, we tested MTT oil in our coffee, and the results were great. Mm -hmm. um, but like I shouldn't say often happens, always happens, <laughs> you guys had a lot of questions about MTT oil powder, and we've been promising to test that um, for you and compare those results with MTT oil. So that's what we did. Many of you have been following us as we test different things put into our morning coffee. So we've tested uh, different fats, kind of a la the keto coffee type of concoctions. Uh, and we've also tested many sweeteners. I think we tested like eight different artificial or, yeah. or sugar substitutes. Yeah. Uh, so we'll link to those tests so you can go back and watch them. But of all of the testing that we did, the big standout for us as far as great results was MCT oil. Both of us had higher ketones and lower blood glucose after consuming MCT oil in our coffee. So we decided to go ahead and run some tests on MCT powder. We're gonna bring those to you in a second, but let us just set the stage here a little bit. So we followed the same scientific methods, meaning that we came up with a hypothesis, tested our hypothesis, gathered our results, and came to our conclusions materials we used. And a Precision Extra blood glucose and ketone monitor and the testing strips that we use both from Abbott Labs. Um, 16 ounces of hot coffee in our mugs. And then we tested uh, our MCT powders. We had three different ones. Let's recap our results for MCT oil. Becky's glucose started at 68 ended at 59 after 120 minutes. Um, mine started at 93 and ended at 86 after 120 minutes, so that's good. Those are both decreases. Um, Becky's ketone started at 2.3 because she's an overachiever. I've mentioned that many times. Thank you. Went all the way up to 3.2. Um, if you notice that look of derision. Uh, mine started at 0.5, so I was just barely in ketosis that day, which is kind of typical for me. I have a hard time doing that. Yeah. I've talked about it so much. I actually, at one point, got up to 1.3, but I ended at 0.8 that day. So that, that's huge for me. It actually pushed me from that borderline to being further into ketosis. So that was a very good test, and we're big fans of MCT oil. Yeah, yeah, because, uh, a lot because of the results that we got. And we have... Big expectations and hopes for these tests. So because we really like the results of MCT oil, we figured MCT powder would probably not be much different. So we hypothesized that MCT powder would give us the same uh, changes in our blood glucose and ketones that we experienced with MCT oil. And what I mean by that is that we expected them to lower our blood glucose and raise our uh, blood ketones. So we, we tested actually three different brands, uh, kind of looking for some popular brands. Right. We use them. this one because it's the same brand as the oil we use. Mm -hmm. This one was Amazon's bestseller. Yeah. And this one is a popular one that we see on a lot of the keto channels. Right. But the thing about powders uh, that we discovered, which is that uh, they all contain at least a gram of carbohydrates. And the reason most likely for that is because they're in powder form, so they will, they will clump or they might need a preservative or something like that, and that's going to be the filler that needs to go in there to make it a use, usable product. Right. So we were kind of curious to see how that would affect our results. And actually, uh, we started with the Left Coast brand, and this one was the highest one in carbohydrates. So in order to do this test and compare it with MCT oil, um, we had to match the servings and what we basically matched was the fat content. Fat content. So right. this has what was it, 14, 14 grams, grams of fat? Yep, so we so, had to get, match that with the uh, serving size with each one. So we had multiple servings of these in our coffees. And we, this was the first one we got and 
because we had uh, this brand of oil and we were a little disappointed that it had uh, it had, had had actually a lot of carbs in it and one of the ingredients was maltodextrin and we've talked about maltodextrin as a filler before maltodextrin has a high glycemic index if we're talking table sugar sucrose it's around like 65 68 uh, if we're talking maltodextrin we have a glycemic index of what was it like 85 to 136 i've seen it yeah, in different big I'm, range but high higher than much higher than sugar so mm. we were starting to worry so here is what it did to our blood glucose becky started with the blood glucose of 80 uh kind of standard for her um went to 90 dropped to 78 and then down to 60 over the two hour period um, my blood glucose i started at 90 that's kind of standard for me i'm usually there um, I went up to 107, so that's a 17-point jump, and then back to 91, and then finally 95. So um, we both kind of got a little pop there at that 30-minute that mark mm -hmm. uh, with blood glucose. Yeah, and was that because of the filler? I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the malto, yeah, the maltodextrin, it could be doing it. Um, so the ketones are, are kind of interesting, too. Becky started at 1.7 up to 2.2, then to 2.0, and then 2.1. So she had, a, she had a little bit of an increase and kind of stayed there. Um, me and it had, I started at 1.0, which I would like to say is like fantastic for me. I was actually, you know, at a good point in ketosis. I dropped to 0.9, I dropped to 0.6, and then I ended at 0.7. So this seemed to just kind of keep dropping you down lower and lower and not ratcheting my ketones down um, so I wasn't, uh, wasn't real thrilled with that one. Mm -hmm. So here, here again, we've got, uh, an experiment that involves two people. Uh, you know, we understand that there are some variables that we are not controlling for, but it is right. another, another one of the, these many times that we prove that different metabolisms handle things differently. Uh, I'm much more insulin sensitive, we gather, than, than you are. And, and we really don't, you know, we, we think that after a year and a half that I should be getting more insulin sensitive. Yeah. But things like this happen and we handle things totally differently I in know. our body. So yeah, maybe that's know. not insulin resistance. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe there's some other factor that we're not taking into account. Yeah. Um, but let's give our conclusion on left coast MCT powder. Okay. For me, it was actually kind of favorable. Yep. Uh, you know, I had a thumbs little thumbs bit up. of a jump up, so I'm giving, I'm giving it a thumbs up. Yeah. Sorry, Left Coast. I love your liquid, but I don't like your powder. Yeah, the liquid's a thumbs up. Yeah. All right. All right, so on to day two, we did Quest Nutrition MCT oil powder. This was the Amazon bestseller. Um, also, the most affordable. Mm -hmm. This was the cheapest one by far. By far, yeah. Um, so we started, uh, Becky started with a uh, blood glucose of 95 went up a little bit to 103, then to 85, and then to 98. So she, she basically kind of through that range wound up about the same place. My blood glucose started at 89 and went to 91, down to 86, and back to 90. I stayed within a five-point range in my blood glucose, which was I think is really good. Mm -hmm. um, so I was pretty happy with that. Yeah, and um, mine really didn't fluctuate. I was kind yeah. of all over the board, but uh, it really yeah. I mean, started it, and ended. The yeah, same. kind of within a within a range there. The funny thing is, we we well we all these because of the carbohydrate we get a little we got a yeah. little bump at that thirty minute mm -hmm. first thirty minute mark. So ketones. Um, now you started at point seven that day, which was very unusual. And in retrospect, we probably should have used a different strip. We could have had a strip area on that one because you're. Typically, never that low. Yeah, or maybe it was accurate. I mean, we really yeah, can't, well, we don't we can't know. speculate yeah, on that. That's true, we don't know. Yeah. And, but then you went up to 1.8, then 1.8, then 1.7. Um, so, my ketones, I actually started at 0.9 that day, which again, you know, pretty decent for me. I bumped up to 1.3 and back to 1.9 and ended at 1.4. So, super happy with that. Mm -hmm. I mean, for me, that, that's yeah. like a fantastic result. Mm -hmm. So, so Quest Nutrition MCT oil powder. Right. Well, I guess I have to give that one a thumbs up. I definitely am giving it a thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, and, and for me, for, for me only from the standpoint of, you know, what it did to my ketones. Just so. for our numbers, yep. And yep. I got a thumbs up on that too. That All was right. a good one. And again, 
cheapest. Yep. Um, so on to day three, and we used uh, the perfect keto uh, empty tulip powder. This was actually vanilla flavor. It's the only flavored one that we used. Mm -hmm. um, and they also had two grams of carbs per scoop. We used multiple scoops. Right. Um, to match this, right. Now this also says that there's two grams of dietary fiber in that. And so we could get in a whole rant about net carbs again. Right. Well, and the reason is because the fiber appears to have been added back in. Right. So that is what, if you've seen our, uh, I guess, rant on uh, why we count total carbs and not net carbs, you can add fiber to a food to bring down the net, you know, the net carbs. Right. So this has zero net carbs, even though it has... I could make something fiber. that has four grams of sugar in it, and I could put some fiber in it, and then I could say this has zero net carbs. Yeah. And that's, you know... Yeah. That's how you fool, that's how you fool you know, consumers. Yeah. So, so we're, we're not saying that was an intentional no, no. effect of this, but it, does, it did pique our interest. It's got added fiber to it. So yeah. let's see yeah. what this one did All to right, so our... Glucose. So day three, and you started with a blood glucose of 77, and then that shot up to 106. So that's a 29 point jump. That's a big jump for me. Yeah, mm -hmm. down to 114 and then to 95. So you just you were still nearly 20 points higher yeah. at the end than you were at the start. Um, I started at 97, my blood glucose jumped up to 115, then to 113, and down to 100. So I had a, a 18 point jump there, and then I I was actually you know. A few points higher at the end than I was when I started as well. So, you know, this also has stevia in it. Yeah. And we didn't. Uh, we were curious about that. I believe this is the only one that had an art. Uh, a sweetener yeah, it's added. got uh, natural vanilla powder. So I don't right. know if that yeah. could be a sweetener as well. I could don't be. know. Um, so on to the ketones. Um, you started at 1.7. Good place for you. You've been at 1.7 a lot of times on the oral testing. Mm -hmm. Went up to 2.3, then to 2.1, and then to 1.8. So you kind of, where you started is pretty much where you finished mm -hmm. on this one. Um, I started at 1.0, went to 1.2, then to 1.1, and then to 1.2. So just a tiny little fluctuation in there. I, I, I look at my numbers, I feel like it really didn't do anything, really right. didn't do much. Right. Not, not like, you know... Um, not like some of the others here. Right, and, and we are taking in MCTs, medium chain triglycerides, uh, which are turned by your liver into ketones. So we would expect ingesting these things to increase our ketones. At least give us that bump in that 30 or 60 minutes. But then you would, you would kind of expect that, that after a couple hours, you probably right. have, have... Use them up and you get back to your body making your own ketones. Right. Yeah, and so I got the bump. You did. You did not. Right. So that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. I got a tiny bump. Yeah. Teeny tiny. So, um, how yeah. how are we feeling about perfect keto? Well, MCT I'll, powder. I I think because of the glucose issue on that one, um, and I'm sorry, perfect keto, but I'm. I've got to give it a thumbs down. I know, I hate to do this. It's a popular it, brand. It I, just didn't do much for my ketones, and it certainly raised our blood glucose. Yeah. I, I have to give it a thumbs down, too. Yeah. And I'm, we're sorry. <laughs> Please prove us wrong. Do your yep. own tests at yeah, home and absolutely. put them in our comments on for Perfect Keto if that's the one that you use. Uh, we would love to be proved wrong on that one. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and we should say that, that based on our... These, none of these did as good as liquid MCT yes. oil. That is still the king. Um, yeah. And that's probably what I will continue to use. Yeah, I would say this one, on our, from our tests that we have done, this uh, MCT oil is in first place. I would give this an honorable mention. I think, you, I think for us, we would uh, continue to use this Quest powder. Yeah, we have, and we've got a nice big thing of it, so we will use it. We will. So, and we'll have a lot um, of leftovers. Yeah, I don't know what we'll do with the other right. ones right now. But. 
All right. Hey, I hope that has been helpful. Thanks for watching. Uh, if it was, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here, and we'll be back soon with some more tests. Ugh, are we going to do that soon? Soon, and, yeah. Uh, and some more videos to help you reach your goals. Thanks. Oh, and before anybody asks, because you guys are like very observant, I got into some poison ivy. That's why I've got the thing on. So we're all good, okay? All right, we'll see you next time.